You know, this saw could be your best friend or it could be your worst enemy. You don't feel comfortable using electric saws. Hey, I'm not trying to get you out of your comfort zone. That's why I showed you how to use a miter box. If you only need to cut a few pieces of trim, you can always do it with the little hand miter box, right? And the little back saw. You don't have to use one of these. I'm just giving you options. Do you remember that plastic miter box? and that little saw that was like eight dollars at the store if you got to do just a few pieces of baseboard you know it takes longer and stuff but you can do it that way i'm just trying to give you different options to save you money talking about saving money if you got the whole house to do trim with don't use the little plastic miter box this is gonna save you money. This saw right here, and you can rent these at a, at a rental yard and get one of those. That will save you time and it will save you money that way. And if you only have to rent it for two or three days, that's fine. And hey, after that, you might decide to buy one of these. But just for the odd piece of trim to cut, you can do that with the little plastic back saw and the miter box. I told you I was going to be close to my trim. Here's my scrap. That's it. Now, I only had one little room to do, so I sweated there for a minute, but I had enough. If you got a whole house to do, don't be this close. Uh, you'll start getting worried. And if you make a couple mistakes, you're going to be glad that you got some extra. So if you're figuring for an entire house, you measure it all up, get yourself some extra. You'll be glad you did.